How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. You know, it always amazes me what the idiots online will say. Not just the idiots online, the idiots in audiences. Uh, Saturday night's Republican debate, and by the way, this is Trump talk and also personal talk. First time I've been out of the house since we towed the car to the dealership, but I'll deal with that later. Um, Units online, like that guy shredded in brain matter, Vashtar, think I'm dying. I'm not dying. I got a back problem from a back injury from 43 years ago. 44 years ago. I don't know. See, when now that would be? 72. 40. Yeah. Let's see. 82, 92, 2002, 2012. 40. 44 years ago. I fell down a flight of stairs and I didn't do anything about it. Because when you're 20 years old, you think you're indestructible. And I obviously wasn't. I'm not dying. And there's no way in hell Mr. Shredded Brain Matter is going to get my my uh, alien head light, um, night light. That's going to my former administrator, Justin. And I got a second on, second one, and that will go to somebody else. So uh, I'd smash the thing to smithereens. I'd cut up in a little green shard before that jerk would get it. My books will go to my former minister, Justin, too. My uh, paranormal books. But uh, I, I shouldn't even read these morons online because uh, all they do is come up with total bullshit. Just like the bullshit at the, the debate where the Republican National Committee stacks the audience with donors and their establishment donors. And they all sit there the last couple of debates. They booed Trump. And for what? Trump told the truth. Now, according to one site, though, Trump didn't say much against the war in Iraq, and I can't find anything where he said much either, but he said it's going to be very difficult. But he was right about one thing. We shouldn't have gone in there. We were told they had weapons of mass destruction when they didn't, but I had an argument last night with a friend of mine. I said I saw it on CNN. We had... Um, our special forces went into this facility that had weapons in there and they got ill and the reason they got ill there was cask of uranium and uranium uh, tailings and things and they got radioactively ill that was on CNN in the first days of the invasion of Iraq and that story disappeared off the radar never to be heard from again so if they found cask of uranium, I watched it, then there must have been other weapons of mass destruction in that and other facilities. They were probably taken out of country. And if you remember Ed Dames, he said they were taken out of country into the Baca Valley of Lebanon and buried under the ground in Russian trucks. We never heard anything about that in Ed Dames again either. Somebody probably told Dames to shut the hell up. But we heard on Art Bell. And uh, so that's a deal there. Now Trump's threatening to go independent because he said they're stacking, the, the RNC is stacking the deck against him. And uh, he's threatening to sue Ted Cruz, which I think is silly because Ted Cruz was born in Canada, but Canada, but he's got dual citizenship through his mother. So that's a deal there. Uh, now there, there are two percentage points between him and Ted Cruz in South Carolina. If Trump wins, I mean, going after the Bushes, if Trump wins that election and should win in Nevada, uh, I think he's got it pretty, practically sewed up. So, and the, the establishment is scared to death of Trump. They're scared to death of Cruz because neither one of these guys are going to double down. They're not going to take orders. They're going to do what's right and what's for the Constitution and the people. And that's why they're scared to death. They can't do special interest garbage. They can't do payoffs and political cronyism and political illegalities. Neither one of these guys will put up with it. All right. That's what I'm going to say about that. Now let's go back to the um, car issue. 
I found out afterwards, after doing a lot of research, and one called a guy I know in Texas, that uh, the Prius has four plugs at the top of the hatch. You have to open those up and get an air compressor and blow the water out. And if the plugs deteriorate or the rubber deteriorates, water will get into the battery area and short out your battery. And that's exactly what it did. We had to um, buy a new battery for $210. I know more about the Prius than I want to know. An inverter's a thousand. A new main battery is anywhere from eleven to thirteen hundred. And then somehow in the confusion, we lost our primary key, so we can't start the car. And uh, we got told by the dealer to tow the car to the dealer, and they would examine the water damage for free. Well, that was a big lie. Another another lie. Got there and wasted two tows. AAA bought the super deluxe AAA membership. I paid for part of it, Kathy paid for part of it, she's not happy. And then found it was 380 to say hello to the car and find out why it was leaking water. And then to top it off, another 380 for a new key, which is the biggest racket I've ever seen. The keys got maybe a couple of dollars with a plastic and a, and a little uh, little encoder chip and a couple buttons. And this is the biggest racket, you gotta encode it at the dealer. So I called a couple locksmiths, and they're saying 3:30 for a new key. It's outrageous, but I'm hearing horror stories. A woman in Starbucks just now told me her brother lost a Jeep key, and it was 500 bucks for a new key. So this smart key, it's only smart for the car companies and the locksmith. It ain't smart for the poor dumb son of a bitch who's got to buy the car. So first of the month, we'll get a new key, see if it starts. Kathy's in her apartment. She's not happy, but then she's never happy. <laughs> she has no TV, no cable, no internet. The TV's in storage, the modem's in storage, the computer's in storage. I've got her cat, and she didn't have a car, and she's a couple of miles from the nearest grocery store, so she's sitting there miserable. She has central heat and air. She has a pool. She has a dishwasher. Compared to my apartment, she's living the lap of luxury. And then I go and... Uh, Tomorrow I'll be pawning this iPad because I've run out of money with all these other expenses I've had. Closed one of my bank accounts, kept overdrawing me every month because they were churning money on this $10 fee and then they would charge me $35 if I didn't pay the $10 fee. So I got rid of that. And uh, I will uh, be caught up financially by April and then can pay off some other bills. I'm paying off Kathy's gas cards. So, that's what's happening. I pawn this iPad, pay off my internet bill. My internet bill is 80 bucks a month, and there's a, that's a reason why I ask people for donations. I don't always have enough money to take care of stuff. People want me to do videos, but no one wants to come up with a, a relatively small amount of money to help me out. That's their choice, just like uh, you can't force anybody to buy broccoli. All right. And if you know what the reference set is, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I will be back with another video in a minute. One problem with new videos outside here in Starbucks, it's very noisy on the street. And uh, have a great day. It's very warm here, unlike back east, it's just freezing. They found some poor college student frozen to death outside his college in New York, I think, so. All right, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. How you doing? This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, Judge Antonin Scalia, a giant of conservatism, died on Saturday. And we have the Obama administration and President Obama saying he has every right to make a, a lame duck appointment to the Supreme Court. Well, the problem is we have, as Justice Scalia said, ideologues on there. You can't change their mind. They liked him personally, but they were determined to be liberal no matter what. And he was conservative and a rock solid interpreter of the Constitution as the founding fathers meant to have it. And one school and one city, I think San Diego, is no longer allowing people to use the phrase founding fathers because it's sexist, which is ridiculous. So if you're not liberal, 
liberals are all screaming, including uh, Harry Reid, that Obama can make any appointment he wants. But this appointment should not be left to a lame duck president. And even uh, Chuck Schumer, when George Bush was in his la last week's his term, said Bush should not make appointments as a lame duck president in his term in the Supreme Court. So there's precedence here. We need to wait till the next president, hopefully a Republican president, hopefully a conservative president, before replacing injustice on this court. And for one huge reason, if we get a liberal justice, and I've seen some of the lists on slate of wonderful candidates for the Supreme Court, two of them are for the idiotic Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco are consistently overturned, they're leftists, and one of them they claim is a moderate. Anytime you hear moderate being moderate Republican or moderate Democrat, they're never a moderate. They're always, they always wind up being ultra left or ultra right. There is no such thing as a moderate judge, in my opinion. So if you're a conservative, you want to protect the Second Amendment, you want to protect the First Amendment, you need to tell your congressman, your senator to block any appointment, to filibuster, do whatever it takes to stop this president from stacking the court. FDR tried it in the 30s by putting 13 men on the court. That didn't work. And this guy wants to tilt the court into the favor of the left. And we need to tell Mitch O'Connell, um, not that Obama should not get this appointment, but will not get this appointment, as Rush Limbaugh, Limbaugh, Rush Limbaugh said today, sorry. All right, that's it. And uh, I will catch you next time. I'm going to head home, and I've got to clean and find my iPad. Never understood the concept of sitting there and screaming. Um, Got to find my other iPad so I can continue to do videos. Once I pay my internet bill off, I owe $161. So I've been paying uh, about half of that every month because I kept getting major overdrawn ever since October since I went to that UFO convention. All right, in future weeks, uh, I will be going to the UFO convention in, I believe, July down near San Jose and the uh, New Living Expo in San Mateo and my back is getting better. I have an MRI on Wednesday and we'll um, go from there. Please stay away. Anyway. Uh, and I'll let you know of my health status and uh, can't stand that guy. He's an annoyance. Uh, always comes up and bugs me. I've told him multiple times, leave me the hell alone. The guy's weird. Anyway, um, this guy keeps walking up to me every time I do something. He goes, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get away from me. So, um, so I will let you know my status. Uh, I started cleaning my apartment. I got dreaded housing inspection next week. And uh, Kathy's going to come over and help out. Patty's moving in an apartment. And then she's going to cruise away. Her daughter's paying for a cruise, for God's sake. So it's, you know, really weird. All right, have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.